it's a healing experience when you have somebody open up to you. You can also heal as you're helping them through their problems just by being there. Every week we hit the road to tell the stories of the people, places, and events that make Hunt County great. These are our friends and our neighbors telling their own stories in their own words. Stories worth knowing and sharing. These are the stories that make us proud to call this place home. And around every corner we find something else that makes us want to celebrate Hunt County. This program would not be possible without the support of our generous sponsors. Thank you. It's really been a great lifetime living in Hunt County and learning how to be part of such an interesting community comprising of such small towns and a larger area like Greenville. And um, it's been really neat building a community over years because I spent half my life trying to get away from this small town and I spent the second half trying to get back to it. Well, my parents kept us pretty involved in all kinds of activities outside of school, including going to the Dallas Art Museum quite often when I was growing up. So I really was steeped in classical art from a very young age. I have an older brother who's quite an artist as well. And so looking up to my older brother, I really got a lot of attention by trying to mimic him and become good at it myself. So I drew a lot in school and everybody gave me a lot of praise for it. And so by the time I was out of school, I knew I wanted to work as a visual artist of some kind. A big turning point in my career as a visual artist um, occurred when I went to the first tattoo studio in Greenville called Treasure Chest. The artist there was named Shane Bad, the Sea Hag, and she's a legendary artist from the 60s and is very well known in tattoo circles. And she, for some reason, saw something in me and told me she wanted me to be her next student. I thought she was just kidding around and wanted something out of me, but over time I did learn and, from her and from her last student, Larry DeMoss, and I became the artist in her chair for the next seven and a half years. And uh, that was a big turning point in my life to have somebody tell me, you didn't have to have just a normal job, you can step outside of that and make a living doing something very obscure and very niche. And as I got into the industry, it grew up around me. And luckily I was in the right place at the right time. I believe that community is going to be the number one thing that propels an artist forward. Just as Da Vinci had to have himself a, um, a king who provided for him to perform, your community is who provides for you to perform. You're not just giving them a service, but their interest in your life and the odd little things that you do are what keep them coming back to you and making you into what the artist you can be. If, if you don't have a community behind you of positivity and stuff, you won't grow. You need to have that encouragement to keep trying. It's a healing experience when you have somebody open up to you. You can also heal as you're helping them through their problems just by being there, just by having an open ear. And that's really what does it. When I first learned a tattoo, the, the gentleman who taught me, Larry DeMoss, told me that tattoo artists are the last shot in. We're the strange individual in your community that's out there on the edge of town, just a little bit crazy with the weirdest stories and dressed as wild as can be. And we're there for a reason. We're there for everybody to come to and lay out their problems. And we do our little dance with our rattles and shake our bones. And they walk away feeling a lot better, even though we didn't do actually anything for them. But at least with the tattoo art, they walk away with a nice little piece of art too. And then they get a lot of pain out of the way by going through a little cathartic release. To be honest with oneself in the depth of your soul and the depth of your sorrow, know that tomorrow will look a lot different than it does today, and that you can decorate both the deep darkness and the beauty of the next morning. That should be your driving force, your inspiration to take your God-given talent and express the world around you in beautiful terms and to bring glory to God's creation is truly what makes art into art and not just a drawing. I am Josh Painter and I celebrate Hunt County. 
If you liked this story, help us celebrate by sharing it with your friends and family. Our stories appear on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and cable TV on Juice 34. You can also find us online at CelebrateHuntCounty.com. If you'd like to suggest someone to feature in our program, email your idea to stories at CelebrateHuntCounty.com. We also want to thank our sponsors for making our storytelling possible. We hope you'll support the hometown businesses that keep Hunt County strong.